Do 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 if I if I could get to know your name. Every time I see this, I keep thinking of Pete Burns, and I wonder how much teasing it would take to get my hair to do that. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right <laughs> Hey, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. International cinema, not eros entertainment. Magnificence beyond belief. I've gone back to my foreign cinema. Not that I ever left it. I watched a Jello this week. Watched a Canadian Jello parody. And I have a Bollywood Zom com for tonight. I'm going to bust out the Merlodio dough for this one. Yeah, I watched a really good, really good Jello by a director whose name I forgot. Death Walks on High Heels. And it's all like about these kinky boots and uh there's a blind guy in it who's sort of blind not blind and it turns out at the end it's it's actually the person i suspected in the beginning doing the, the, the there's a woman who's a stripper and <laughs> she's the protagonist and she does a couple of like strip numbers and in the first strip number in the movie she's got a an afro wig and she's in brown face and she's like rotating her buttocks and stuff. But it's a good movie, aside from the, the racist bit. Because I don't know how it came out in Italian, but the, her her lover comes and says, Man, I really like you when you're in brown. And, um, you know, then she finally gets murdered. And there's a, there's a fishmonger. And like I said, the blind guy. It's good. It's good. Watch it. And then I watched The Editor, which is a parody of mostly... Dario Argento type films. It's Canadian and it's actually overdubbed in English to make it look like it's badly overdubbed from Italian. It's it's brilliant. It has Paz de la Huerta in it as um, the wife of the editor. He's a film editor and he's like this schlubby guy and then people start getting killed all around him. There's, there's plenty of parody in there. There's some really, really good music too. I have a keyboard. Hopefully I'll be composing my own gel like music and if I can figure out how to how to put it on here you'll be hearing that too. So I was doing my Italian stuff and I said, you know, I haven't haven't watched any Bollywood for a long time. For a Valentine's Day I pulled up a Valentine's song and I looked and I go, you know, I these movies, these movies Shiro Khan looks like he's about 18 years old in in them. Anyway, I have this go go gone. A Bollywood Zomcom. Now, it's got Saif Ali Khan in it, who... I think the first time I saw him, he was in Kahonaho. No, he was in Mehuna. He was he was the hippy-dippy kind of student named Lucky Lachman, and he had, like, the long hair and the bandana, and he was, like, the schlub, and his half-brother was Shahrukh Khan, the, the Shahrukh Khan figure. And I'm looking at this picture. He kind of looks like Sean Penn here. But he's also reminding me of Simon Pegg. I think the first and greatest uh, Zomcom was Shaun of the Dead, which my son and I actually saw the first um, the first week it came out in um, uh, 2003, 2004. Um, I'm not really a fan of zombies. And I'm wondering how they're going to work this, because I know that Bollywood doesn't do explicit sex. I wonder how they're going to handle handle the gore in this. And of course, it's got some stoner humor. There's somebody back here looks kind of like a young Keanu Reeves. There's the open-mouthed, darker skin, because it, it's always the comedic guy with the darker skin, you know, the, the Johnny, what's his name? Johnny Lever type of guy. And then there's a, the handsomer, lighter-skinned Indian man. Um, I, wonder, I, I wonder how this comes out, and I'm going to let you know after I've watched it. So um, I've got all my chores done. I've even got my curry chicken made. And uh, looking forward to having a, a good Saturday. Talk to you soon.